Hi folks, it's Tim, Golf 5 Tango Mike again, and uh, what we're going to do today is have a look at a simple fan dipole. Well, thanks for joining me, and uh, good to have you back, and if you're a new subscriber, well, th welcome along. And it'd be great if you could click our subscribe button and that bell button too for any future notifications. Uh, before I go any further with this, what I'll also be doing uh, in the description below the actual video here is add some links to other channels as well that I, uh, that I enjoy watching and I think you might be interested in looking at too. So there'll be a list of those below. So check that out uh, once you've seen the video. The today then is to make a fan dipole, a uh, two-band fan dipole. Now I call it a fan dipole. There's a lot of uh, debate sometimes about the name. Uh, the term fan dipole strictly means that you run uh, a dipole off the same feed point in different directions, like a fan, like an umbrella, if you see what I mean. Uh, it's basically used to describe basically any situation where you run more than one dipole off the same feed point. Uh, they'd be they can be called parallel dipoles, but fan dipoles will do for this particular video. Hey, you can call it Mary if you want to, it doesn't bother me. So, um, what are we using for the fan dipole? Well, normally what people do is they have a, a wire for each band, and then they uh, manufacture some sort of spacer between them to keep it. So what happens is you've got like, the, uh, the, the, the current one-to-one -one ballon at the middle, you know, where you feed. Then you've got a wire coming off there and another wire that comes down here for another band, and so on. And you separate them, sometimes through the use of maybe some um, poly, you know, PVC piping you might use, or some sort of other lightweight, non-conductive material. Well, I had a brainwave. I've got some 300 ohm ladder line lying around, which I'm not really going to use for much else. They're fairly short runs, you see, about, say, five, six, seven metres long. I'll be operating, or looking to operate anyway, on the foam portion of the 17 metre band. So my centre frequency is going to be 18.130. I'm doing a quick calculation, uh, dividing it by 468 into 18.130, which is to work out the uh, half wave in uh, feet. 25 foot 10, which is about 7.85 metres. So you divide that for each leg. And then for the 10 metre band, again, I'm looking at the foam portion. So I'm centering it on around 28.45 megahertz, 450. And that's 16 and a half feet, nearly, or 16 foot 5 inches. So that's 5 meters. So we divide that by 2. So that's how we come across the, uh, the amount we need to have these legs for. So the, the aim is, let me just give you an example here. I just started to do this already. So whoop, let's get to the middle point here. So what's going to happen is I'm going to strip just a little bit back. So you've got two wires, yeah? So one will be the 17 meter dipole and one will be the 10 meter so strip this back obviously strip uh, strip a bit of the, the the insulation off and basically put them both together into one ring connector okay and that will go on to a ballon and then do the other do the same the other side and then what you have then of course are two wires which go along like this until dun -dun 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 -dun, there I've just started to do this. So basically the 10 meter dipole ends there. And then the 17 meter dipole is the other wire, which continues on until the end of that particular uh, wire that we need for 17 meters. We do the same on both sides, keeping them identical, of course. They need to be identical to be a balanced antenna. And then it could well be, you see, that when we put this up, uh, the likelihood is, I think, given how close they are together as well, There'll be a bit of interaction here too. This isn't going to be a perfect thing. It's really like a rough and ready, simple little fan dipole you can put together with scrap wire, okay? Might be useful portable because this stuff is really light. Oops, that's banging against the tripod. So, um, yeah, this is going to be long. So, I hope, anyway, not short. One thing you don't want is being short. So, if it's resonant, say 28.0 and maybe down towards 17 point something megahertz, then you just trim. Now, I'm going to start trimming the the longest one, that's the lowest frequency, just to bring that in. And once that in, then you just trim the higher frequency one, which would be the 10 meter one. Okay, so there we are. That's the plan. So we're gonna start getting this correctly measured up, getting the, both of them identical on both sides at the measurements I've just mentioned. And then uh, we're gonna pop her up on the uh, fiberglass pole. It's not gonna be very high, about seven meters up in the, in the middle. It's gonna be an inverted V. So we're replicating a traditional or typical portable sort of setup here. So there you go. We're gonna have a go at it, see if we can get a tune out of it. And you never know, maybe make a contact or two. Let's have a look. 
Okay, so we stripped it back to the measurements we've mentioned earlier. We've now got to do the end piece which goes into the actual ballon itself on both sides. What I'm going to do is basically snip back the things that uh, keep the wires apart there to about here. It's probably about, what's that? Quick me measure that for you. Uh, about sort of 40 millimetres, 4 centimetres, inch and a half, whatever you want to call it. So going back to about here, we'll cut this bit off and this bit off so these two wires become more freer from each other. Strip them back, twist them together, and then pop them into a connector. We'll do the both on the same side, on this, on uh, on both sides. Okay, do it, yeah, do it to both sides, and then we'll connect them to the ballon, and then we'll see how we go. Back back for more in a bit. Okay, so just stripping these back then to the measurements I mentioned just now. About I'll say it's about five centimeters, a couple of inches. Strip these back. And then we'll join them together into the uh, into the centre con uh, connector. So, uh, all in a minute. Okay, so it's a rough and ready connection to start with. We haven't soldered anything yet. What we've got and done, uh, get into focus. Will I come into focus? Come on. Well, what we've done <laughs> is uh, twisted it together, as you've seen, and just wrapped it around the um, the connector for now. Okay, so it's only a little sort of uh, rough and ready uh, sort of uh, installation. Let's see if I can focus this. Come on. I get my fat head out of the way. Will you focus? No, okay. Well, you kind of know what I've done. <laughs> I've uh, wrapped the wire, basically just could, turned, turned it round about two or three times just to give a bit of a connection. It'll be good enough for testing. And in fact, if you look, it's pretty, pretty sturdy. So that's going to be good enough for just trying it out. And what you want to do really then is uh, make sure you, you solder the connection as well, make a really good tight connection. So we're going to do the both on, uh, sorry, the same on both sides now, and then get it up on that pole to test it out. Okay, more in a minute quick look at the insulator I'm going to use. Obviously you need to try and uh, uh, separate the, the radiating wire from the rope or string, whatever you're going to use to tie it off, or paracord. So uh, <laughs> so what I've done on this one, I just uh, put a, par a zip tie or cable tie here, cut it off completely, then put another one just above it, but on that one I also looped in another cable tie, and then that provides a link to the final one where the string gets tied off on, so it should actually go a bit like that. There you go. Very rudimentary, very rough and ready, but it just shows. Cable ties can be used uh, sometimes as sort of uh, short-term, temporary, but quite effective means of uh, of keeping your antenna up and linked to the uh, the tie-off points. So, little hint and tip for you in case you haven't done that before. As I say, won't win any prizes in terms of presentation but it'll do the job for you, at least for that, uh, that portable op that you're going to do. More in a bit. So here we can see the uh, micro ballon strapped in readiness to the pole to be hoisted up. As we can see, 17 metres is a bit on the long side. Turn our attention to 10 metres, that's the shorter wire of course, then it's well off. The uh, SWR here is about six and a half. And uh, yeah, so we've got a bit of, uh, I think, a bit of pruning to do. In fact, the next bit I'll show you will confirm that we are very much, very much too long. Let's see where it's resonant, actually, that wire. And, uh, well, here we go. Uh, resonant on 12 metres. Well, we did more pruning on the 17 metre wire, and we got it bang on. Yep, bottom end of 17 metres. Excellent SWR there. And top end, yep, similarly, very, very good. So by this stage, I'd uh, hacked off seven, two lots of seven centimetres on both sides, so it's 14 centimetres per leg had gone. And as we can see, we've now managed to uh, heighten the resonant frequency up to 26.646. So we're creeping up to where we want to be, but still somewhere to go. Uh, still about two megahertz to go. Seven centimeters per leg later, again, hacked off, and we were getting closer. We're now into CB land here, 27.501, getting closer to 10 meters. Still some way to go, but we're making progress. And uh, yeah, it was a hot day out there. I have to tell you, this, uh, 
This tuning fan dipole business is very hard work for some people. Even my assistant's having to take a seat look. Yeah, like he's been helping, eh? That's Alvin, by the way. Anyway, back to the tuning. So by this stage, we're nearly there. Another seven centimetres, and we're just hitting now, uh, just below where we want to be, really, in the SSB portion of uh, 10 metres. 28.384, and uh, we're getting very close here. So I decided just to nip off another couple of centimetres and to see where we get it. Let's see where we finally got to. Just before I did the final check on 10 metres, I checked 17 and look, still a good SWR, but it crept up to 1.5. Uh, there might well be a bit of an impedance bump somewhere linked to the uh, 10 metre wire. As we'll see in a minute, though, as I'll tell you in a minute, it actually disappeared after the next pruning. And here we are finally, 28.45. Uh, natural reading was about 1.4 to 1. And I was happy at this point. Uh, well under 1.5 for the vast majority of the SSB portion of 10 metres. I think that was as good as it was going to get. And luckily, 70 metres went back to being as flat as it was earlier. Strange. So up around 28,600. SWR was pretty good. As it was towards the bottom part-ish of the SSB portion. Okay, here's the installation then. Temporary, of course. Support pole. The ballon, 5 metres up. Both legs going down and both wires stopping about three metres above the ground. And uh, let's see how well it does. Hey folks, uh, okay, so we're in the house. Uh, we're just gonna have a quick hook up here on the 891, which you can just see in shot, I think. And there's a tracer battery down there as well. We're sort of replicating a portable setup, okay? So we've got the dipole out there uh, for 17 and 10. Just gonna see if I can make any contacts. So see if, see if the thing actually gets out. SWR looks good on both bands. So we're going to try 10 metres first, see if that's open. Hopefully it is. Uh, if not, then, okay, we've got a tunable aerial. <laughs> and uh, let's see if we can at least make, make one contact at least. Hopefully 10 has some life on it, so we'll check now. Germany 5, Tango Mike. Roger, you're also 59 plus. Lovely signal. Name here, name here is Tim Tango India Mike. I'm located about 80 kilometers southwest of London on the south coast. Uh, running 100 watts into a homemade uh, fan dipole. Go ahead. Yeah, fine, fine. Luis Copi Tim, name is Salve, Sierra Alpha Lima, Circa America Lima. I am located in the north part of Germany. Uh, it is called Fine Tango Mike. Roger, Roger. Good afternoon to you. You're a very strong signal. Five nine plus into the south coast of England, and my name is Tim Tango India Mike. Over. Right, Tim Tango Mike. Production on the front end, Mike. You're five nine. Tim, my name is Frank here. If I have the right and my information. Well, it's typical, isn't it? That, uh, as you can see, zombie apocalypse. Uh, we've got plenty of FD8 going on on 17 meters, but uh, only a couple of very distant voices. Uh, let's see if we can improve matters and make a contact. Oh well, uh, a good day. Um, we've got the antenna up. <laughs> so we're just testing it, aren't we, for portable use. Uh, great SWR on 17 and 10 eventually. Really interesting to note that when we first uh, cut it, we got uh, 17 in quite quickly with about a 13 centimeter cut from its original length, um, but 10 needed a lot of pruning mainly because of the linear loading effect, I think, even though the wires weren't quite linear loaded as in join, but they were very close together, literally, you know, 300 ohm is like that, okay? So um, I think that's what caused the lengthening. I mean, uh, the 10 meter wire was in fact resonant on 12. So we had to chop it back a fair bit. So what I'll do, I'm just gonna take the antenna down, do a final measurement for you, so I can give you those figures in a second, so you know roughly how much they've been chopped. I'll have to all try and work out a little bit as well, how, how much of a uh, reduction they are on the standard dipole length. Unfortunately, 17 didn't have a soul on it. Um, it was certainly receiving well. I mean, FT8 was, as you saw from the S meter just now, or you certainly heard anyway, was uh, was S9+. plus. Um, so that was great. But 10 metres was, was the band that had some action. 
uh, which is great to see. So uh, we've got some contacts into Germany, Italy and Denmark on 10 metres. So I think it works. I think it needs to go a bit higher. I mean, the apex is only five metres up and the ends are about, I'd say about three metres up. So um, that's OK for 10 metres. For 17, a bit low. Um, if you're portable with a seven metre pole and you're going to use a little ballon like I've got, you're not going to be much higher than that anyway. Probably using a 10 metre pole and getting it up, say, seven, maybe eight metres high will make a big difference, especially on, on, the, on the 17 metres. OK, the measurements then, the final figures from the, the pruning from today's antenna. And by the way, I'm just checking myself here as well. Caught the sun, so <laughs> there we go. A bit of vitamin D today as well. The measurements, 17 metres per leg, 3.68 metres. That's 7.36 metres overall. So that's down a bit. The 10 metre leg or legs, each leg down to 2.08 metres, that's 4.16 metres per leg. So overall, sorry, 4.16 metres overall, 2.08 metres per leg. Let's get that right. Now, in terms of a reduction, if we're dealing in, in, in uh, metric, we're looking at 84 centimetres. That's nearly a quarter of its usual length has been reduced back. And uh, in terms of the good old fashioned feet and inches that I know in the States you do, and in Britain we, most of us probably still stick to, uh, that's nearly three feet. It's something like about two feet nine, something like that, off the overall length. That's quite a, quite a, a you know, a cutback, isn't it? Um, I think the reason is because the two wires and the 300 ohm cable were quite close to each other. And uh, 17 was kind of left alone a little bit, although there was a bump, if you notice, there was a bump. When we got the SWR down, or the resonance down on the short wire, down to about 25, 26 megahertz, suddenly I created a, a little bump in the SWR of the 17 meter wire, which then got flattened out again once we got resonance on 10 meters. So, interesting. That's interesting. Um, but overall, uh, we got the SWR down to, uh, as you can see, to pretty workable levels, uh, no problems at all with that. And uh, overall, the antenna worked okay. So uh, with this antenna, I think if you're gonna do something similar, be prepared for pruning, uh, set it to the usual lengths that you'd have for single wire dipoles, but be prepared for pruning. Start off with the lower band first of all, so I did 17 meters first, and then uh, be prepared to prune back the higher band probably a lot more because I think it sees the wire of the lower band, the longer wire, okay, it sees the longer wire, and so it thinks, oh, I'm part of that as well, because if you remember, the antenna was actually resonant on 12 metres, which is uh, around 3.5 megahertz uh, lower than what I wanted it to be. So I think we cut off something like about uh, 30 or 40 centimetres per leg. So that's, uh, that's a decent bit of pruning going on there. Anyway, those are the measurements, and I hope that helps. And thanks for watching. Take care. Hope to catch you again. Click subscribe. Click that bell button. <laughs> it's lovely to have you with me. Hope to catch you again soon. This is Tim, G5TM, wishing you good luck with your antenna experiments too. Bye for now.